Bihar, Hindustani pronunciation, BRR, is an Indian state considered to be a part of eastern and northern India. It is the 13th largest Indian state, with an area of 94,163 square kilometres 36,357 square miles. The third largest state by population, it is contiguous with Uttar Pradesh to its west, Nepal to the north, the northern part of West Bengal to the east, with Jharkhand to the south. The Bihar Plain is split by the river Ganges, which flows from west to east. Bihar is an amalgamation of three distinct regions, Magha, Mathila, and Bhojpur. On 15 November 2000, southern Bihar was ceded to form the new state of Jharkhand. Only 11.3% of the population of Bihar lives in urban areas, which is the lowest in India after Himachal Pradesh. Additionally, almost 58% of Biharis are below the age of 25, giving Bihar the highest proportion of young people of any Indian state. In ancient and classical India, the area that is now Bihar was considered a centre of power, learning, and culture. From Magadha arose India's first empire, the Maurya Empire, as well as one of the world's most widely adhered to religions, Buddhism. Magadha empires, notably under the Maurya and Gupta dynasties, unified large parts of South Asia under a central rule. Another region of Bihar is Mathila, which was an early centre of Brahmanical learning and the centre of the Videha kingdom. Since the late 1970s, Bihar has lagged far behind other Indian states in terms of social and economic development. Many economists and social scientists claim that this is a direct result of the policies of the central government, such as the freight equalization policy, its apathy towards Bihar, lack of Bihari sub-nationalism, and the permanent settlement of 1793 by the British East India Company. The state government has, however, made significant strides in developing the state. Improved governance has led to an economic revival in the state through increased investment in infrastructure, better health care facilities, greater emphasis on education, and a reduction in crime and corruption. Etymology <inaudible> 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 The name Bihar is derived from the Sanskrit and Pali word, Vihara Devanagari, Vihara meaning, abode. The region roughly encompassing the present state was dotted with Buddhist Vihara, the abodes of Buddhist monks in the ancient and medieval periods. Medieval writer Manaj al-Siraj Juzjani records in the Tabakat i Nasiri that in 1198, Bakhtiar Khalji committed a massacre in a town now known as Bihar Sharif, about 70 kilometers away from Bodh Gaya. History <inaudible> Ancient Churand, on the northern bank of the Ganga River, in Saran district, has an archaeological record from the Neolithic Age about BC. Regions of Bihar—such as Magadha, Mathila and Anga, are mentioned in religious texts and epics of ancient India. Mathila gained prominence when people of Aryavarta an ancient name for India established the Videha kingdom. During the late Vedic period c. 1100 to 500 BCE, Videha became one of the major political and cultural centres of South Asia, along with Kuru and Pankala. The kings of the Videha kingdom were called Janakas. Sita, a daughter of one of the Janaks of Mathila is mentioned as the consort of Lord Rama, in the Hindu epic, Ramayana, written by Valmiki. The Videha kingdom later became incorporated into the Vajji confederacy which had its capital in the city of Vishali, which is also in Mathila. Vajji had a republican form of government where the king was elected from the number of rajas. Based on the information found in texts pertaining to Jainism and Buddhism, Vajji was established as a republic by the 6th century BCE, before the birth of Gautama Buddha in 563 BCE, making it the first known republic in India. The region of modern-day southwestern Bihar called Magadha remained the centre of power, learning, and culture in India for 1,000 years. The Haryanka dynasty, founded in 684 BC, ruled Magadha from the city of Rajgriya modern Rajagar. The two well-known kings from this dynasty were Bimbisara and his son Ajatashatru, who imprisoned his father to ascend the throne. Ajatashatru founded the city of Pataliputra which later became the capital of Magadha. He declared war and conquered the Vajji. The Haryanka dynasty was followed by the Shishunaga dynasty. 
Later the Nanda dynasty ruled a vast tract stretching from Bengal to Punjab. The Nanda dynasty was replaced by the Maurya Empire, India's first empire. The Maurya Empire and the religion of Buddhism arose in the region that now makes up modern Bihar. The Mauryan Empire, which originated from Magadha in 325 BC, was founded by Chandragupta Maurya, who was born in Magadha. It had its capital at Pataliputra modern Patna. The Mauryan Emperor, Ashoka, who was born in Pataliputra Patna, is believed to be one of the greatest rulers in the history of the world. The Gupta Empire, which originated in Magadha in 240 AD, is referred as the Golden Age of India in science, mathematics, astronomy, commerce, religion, and Indian philosophy. Bihar and Bengal was invaded by Rajendra Chola I of the Chola dynasty in the 11th century. Medieval Buddhism in Magadha went into decline due to the invasion of Muhammad bin Bakhtiar Khalji, during which many of the viharas and the famed universities of Nalanda and Vikramashila were destroyed. It was claimed that thousands of Buddhist monks were massacred during the 12th century. D. N. Jha suggests, instead, that these incidents were the result of Buddhist Brahmin skirmishes in a fight for supremacy. In 1540, the great Pathan chieftain, Sher Shah Suri, from Sasaram, took northern India from the Mughals, defeating the Mughal army of Emperor Humayun. Sher Shah declared Delhi his capital. From the 11th century to the 20th century, Mathila was ruled by various indigenous dynasties. The first of these were the Karnatas, followed by the Oinwar dynasty, Raguvanshi and finally Rajdarbanga. It was during this period that the capital of Mathila was shifted to Darbhanga, the tenth and the last guru of Sikhism, Guru Gobind Singh was born in Patna. <laughs> Colonial era After the Battle of Buxar 1764, the British East India Company obtained the Diwani rights rights to administer, and collect revenue or tax for Bihar, Bengal and Odisha. The rich resources of fertile land, water and skilled labour had attracted the foreign imperialists, particularly the Dutch and British, in the 18th century. A number of agriculture-based industries had been started in Bihar by foreign entrepreneurs. Bihar remained a part of the Bengal Presidency of British India until 1912, when the province of Bihar and Orissa was carved out as a separate province. Since 2010, Bihar has celebrated its birthday as Bihar Diwas on of March. Pre- and post-independence Farmers in Champaran had revolted against indigo cultivation in 1914 at Pipra and 1916 Turkaulia. In April 1917, Mahatma Gandhi visited Champaran, where Raj Kumar Shukla had drawn his attention to the exploitation of the peasants by European indigo planters. The Champaran Satyagraha that followed received support from many Bihari nationalists, such as Rajendra Prasad and Anugra Narayan Sinha. In the northern and central regions of Bihar, the Kizan Sabha peasant movement was an important consequence of the independence movement. It began in 1929 under the leadership of Swami Sahajanand Saraswati, who formed the Bihar Provincial Kizan Sabha (BPKS) to mobilize peasant grievances against the Zamindari attacks on their occupancy rights. The movement intensified and spread from Bihar across the rest of India, culminating in the formation of the All India Kizan Sabha AIKS at the Lucknow session of the Indian National Congress in April 1936, where Saraswati was elected as its first president. Bihari migrant workers have faced violence and prejudice in many parts of India, such as Maharashtra, Punjab, and Assam after independence. Geography and climate Bihar has a diverse climate. Its temperature is subtropical in general, with hot summers and cool winters. Bihar is a vast stretch of fertile plain. It is drained by the Ganges River, including its northern tributaries Gandak and Koshi, originating in the Nepal Himalayas and the Bhagmati originating in the Kathmandu Valley that regularly flood parts of the Bihar Plains. The total area covered by the state of Bihar is 94163 square kilometers, 36357 square miles. The state is located between 24 degrees -20 -10. 
N approximately 27 degrees minus 31 minutes minus 15 seconds. N latitude and between 83 degrees minus 19 minus 50. E approximately 88 degrees minus 17 minutes minus 40 seconds. E longitude. Its average elevation above sea level is 173 feet 53 meters. The Ganges divides Bihar into two unequal halves and flows through the middle from west to east. Other Ganges tributaries are the Sun, Budi Gandak, Chandan, Orhani and Falgu. Though the Himalayas begin at the foothills, a short distance inside Nepal and to the north of Bihar, the mountains influence Bihar's landforms, climate, hydrology and culture. Central parts of Bihar have some small hills, for example the Rajagar Hills. To the south is the Chota Nagpur Plateau, which was part of Bihar until 2000 but now is part of a separate state called Jharkhand. <laughs> Flora and fauna Bihar has notified forest area of 6764.14 square kilometers, 2612 square miles, which is 7.2% of its geographical area. The sub-Himalayan foothill of Someshwar and the Dun ranges in the Champaran district are another belt of moist deciduous forests. These also consist of scrub, grass and reeds. Here the rainfall is above 1,600 mm and thus promotes luxuriant sal forests in the area. The most important trees are Shore Robusta, Sal Cedrella Tuna, Care, and Semel. Deciduous forests also occur in the Saharsa and Purnia districts. Shore Robusta sal, Diaspiras melanoxalon kendu, Boswellia serrata salai, Terminalia tomentos asan, Terminalia belerica bahara, Terminalia arjuna argin, Terocarpus marsupium pizar, Maduka indica mahua are the common flora across the forest of Bihar. Valmiki National Park, West Champaran District, covering about 800 square kilometers (309 square miles) of forest, is the 18th Tiger Reserve of India and is ranked fourth in terms of density of tiger population. It has a diverse landscape, sheltering rich wildlife habitats and floral and faunal composition, along with the prime protected carnivores. Topic: Demographics. After the 2011 census, Bihar was the third most populous state of India with total population of 104,099,452 54,278,157 male and 49,821,295 female. Nearly 89% of Bihar's population lived in rural areas. The density was 1,106. The sex ratio was 918 females per 1,000 males. Almost 58% of Bihar's population was below 25 years age, which is the highest in India. Most of Bihar's population belongs to Indo-Aryan speaking ethnic groups along with few Dravidian speaking and Austroasiatic speaking people mostly in Chahotanagpur Plateau now part of Jharkhand. It also attracted Punjabi Hindu refugees during the partition of British India in 1947. Bihar has a total literacy rate of 63.82%, 73.39% for males and 53.33% for females, recording a growth of 20% in female literacy over the period of a decade at 11.3%. Bihar has the second lowest urbanization rate in India. As of the 2011 census, population density surpassed 1,000 per square kilometre, making Bihar India's most densely populated state, but still lower than West Java or Banten of Indonesia. According to the 2011 census, 82.7% of Bihar's population practiced Hinduism, while 16.9% followed Islam. <laughs> Government and administration The constitutional head of the government of Bihar is the governor, who is appointed by the President of India. The real executive power rests with the chief minister and the cabinet. The political party or the coalition of political parties having a majority in the legislative assembly forms the government. The head of the bureaucracy of the state is the chief secretary. 
Under this position, is a hierarchy of officials drawn from the Indian Administrative Service, Indian Police Service, Indian Forest Service, and different wings of the state civil services. The judiciary is headed by the Chief Justice. Bihar has a high court which has been functioning since 1916. All the branches of the government are located in the state capital, Patna. The state is divided into nine divisions and 38 districts, for administrative purposes. Bihar has 12 municipal corporations, 49 Nagar Parishads, and 80 Nagar Panchayats. Politics See also, political parties in Bihar, elections in Bihar and list of politicians from Bihar, Bihar Legislative Assembly election, 2015 by 2004, 14 years after Lalu Prasad Yadav's victory, The Economist magazine said that, Bihar had become a byword for the worst of India, of widespread and inescapable poverty, of corrupt politicians indistinguishable from mafia dons they patronize, caste-ridden social order that has retained the worst feudal cruelties. In 2005, the World Bank believed that issues faced by the state were enormous because of persistent poverty, complex social stratification, unsatisfactory infrastructure and weak governance. Currently, there are two main political formations, the National Democratic Alliance NDA, which comprises Bharatiya Janata Party, Lok Janashakti Party, Rashtriya Lok Samta Party, Hindustani Awam Morcha and JDU joined recently after breaking the Grand Alliance with RJD and Inc., second is alliance between RJD and Indian National Congress. There are many other political formations. The Communist Party of India had a strong presence in Bihar at one time, but is weakened now. The CPM and forward bloc have a minor presence, along with the other extreme left, in contrast to prior governments, which emphasized divisions of caste and religion. Nidish Kumar's manifesto was based on economic development, curbs on crime and corruption, and greater social equality for all sections of society. Since 2010, the government has confiscated the properties of corrupt officials and redeployed them as schools' buildings. Simultaneously, they introduced Bihar Special Court Act to curb crime. It has also legislated for a two-hour break on Fridays, including lunch, to enable Muslim employees to pray and thus cut down on post-lunch absenteeism by them. The government has prohibited the sale and consumption of alcohol in the state since March 2016. This ban has been linked to a drop in tourism to Bihar. Topic public health in Bihar. Attempts have been made to establish a well-functioning Department of Public Health. National efforts like the National Health Mission, the Clinical Establishments Act of 2010, and the formation of the Empowered Action Group EAG catalyze the disbursement of federal funds by expanding healthcare access and improving the quality of healthcare services to states in need. However, Bihar's ability to fully utilize this funding is lacking. Bihar's healthcare system has the appropriate policies in place to allow for the implementation of comprehensive healthcare treatment. However, it is in the execution and management of the funding and services where it falls behind. Overall, the lack of consistent monitoring tools for policy evaluation explain why a strategic, evidence-based public health system has been slow to take root in the state of Bihar. Consequently, Bihar generally ranks weakest in health outcomes in comparison to other Indian states and even among its EAG counterparts. Research indicates that Bihar relies on privatized hospitals to provide healthcare to the masses, it has high levels of unacknowledged corruption and also implements a vertical system of disease management. In fact, the ratio of private spending on healthcare relative to public spending in Bihar is the second highest in India. These factors have been found to be associated with slower healthcare delivery and a higher degree of economic burden as a consequence of steep healthcare costs. Much of this is because Bihar lacks in the continuity and transparency of health reporting as required by the Clinical Establishments Act of 2010. In turn, this prevents the government from making evidence-based conclusions about policy changes and hospital effectiveness. Rather, Bihar's health department displays patterns of ill-informed spending, inconsistent hiring, and erratic spending on healthcare infrastructure. 
For example, according to the Government of India's Ministry of Health and Family Welfare Health and Family Welfare Census data 2008-2015, the number of health care professionals including registered nurses, auxiliary nurses, physicians and health supervisors at each hospital in Bihar have remained significantly lower compared to those working in Kerala, and do not seem to follow any sort of pattern. Rather, its number of registered health care professionals remains constant over time. Compared to Bihar, we see that Kerala's number of registered healthcare professionals consistently increase over time. According to Rural Health Statistics 2015, the greatest shortfalls exist among physicians and specialists across the state at least 75%. This extends to the number of actual health centers across Bihar as well, as it only has 50% of the sub-health centers, 60% of the primary health centers, and a mere 9% of the community health centers it needs based on the national government's supply to population norms. At a closer look, the number of hospital beds that Bihar includes in each government-run hospital actually decreased between 2008 and 2015, compared to the consistently increasing number of hospital beds in government-run Kerala hospitals. Given the population of Bihar population, 99 million, is much denser than Kerala population, 35 million, these numbers suggest that Bihar is significantly behind in the number of healthcare professionals that should be employed within the state. It is likely that because there is a lack of data reporting, analysis and evaluation within Bihar that these trends exist. Despite these shortcomings, Bihar has shown gradual signs of public health improvement in a few areas. There is indeed a shortage of skilled healthcare professionals, but Bihar still benefits from a surplus of female health workers compared to male health workers. In terms of key impact indicators, between 2010 and 2013, the crude birth rate decreased by 2.3%, crude death rate decreased by 5.6%, infant mortality rate decreased by 12.7%, neonatal mortality rate decreased by 8.6%, under 5 mortality rate decreased by 9.1%, and maternal mortality ratio decreased by 10.2%. It would suit Bihar well to continue to adapt common cost effective practices to strengthen and their health systems data measurement and research. Research has shown that the implementation of patient and caregiver surveys, exit interviews at health centers, vignettes, and audit studies are simple methods of bolstering reporting and evaluation in lower income areas such as Bihar. Economy <inaudible> 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 Gross state domestic product of Bihar for the year 2013-2014 has been around 3,683.37 billion Indian rupees. By sectors, its composition is Agriculture equals 22% Industry equals 5% Services equals 73% Bihar is the fastest growing state in terms of gross state domestic product GSDP clocking a growth rate of 17.06% in FY 2014-15 the economy of Bihar was projected to grow at a compound annual growth rate CAGR of 13.4% during 2012-2017, i.e. the 12th five-year plan. Bihar has witnessed strong growth in per capita net state domestic product NSDP. At current prices, per capita NSDP of the state grew at a CAGR of 12.91% during 2004-05-2014-15. Bihar's per capita income went up by 40.6% in the financial year 2014-15. Equals. Topic: Agriculture. Equals. Bihar is the fourth largest producer of vegetables and the eighth largest producer of fruits in India. Bihar has high agricultural production, making it one of the strongest sectors of the state. About 80% of the state's population is employed in agriculture, which is higher as compared to India's average. The main agricultural products produced in Bihar are lychee, guava, mango, pineapple, brinjal, ladies finger, cauliflower, cabbage, rice, wheat and sugarcane and sunflower. Though good soil and favorable climatic conditions such as good rainfall favor agriculture, it has to encounter flood threat as well, which may drain off the fertile soil, if not conserved properly. The state mostly southern parts faces droughts almost every year affecting production of crops such as paddy. Equals 
Topic: Industry. Equals Bihar has emerged as brewery hub with major domestic and foreign firms setting up production units in the state. Three major firms, United Breweries Group, Danish brewery company Carlsberg Group and Cobra Beer, are to set up new units in Patna and Muzaffarpur in 2012. Hajipur, near Patna, remains a major industrial city in Bihar, linked to the capital city through the Ganges Bridge and good road infrastructure. The state's debt was estimated at 77% of GDP by 2007. The finance ministry has given top priority to create investment opportunities for big industrial houses like Reliance Industries. Further developments have taken place in the growth of small industries, improvements in IT infrastructure, the new software park in Patna, Darbanga, Bagalpur and the completion of the expressway from the Pravankal border through Bihar to Jharkhand. In August 2008, a Patna registered company called the Security and Intelligence Services CIS India Limited took over the Australian Guard and Mobile Patrol Services business of American conglomerate, United Technologies Corporation UTC. CIS is registered and taxed in Bihar. The capital city, Patna, is one of the better off cities in India when measured by per capita income, carat. The state government is setting up an information technology it city at Rajagar in Nalanda district. Additionally, India's first media hub is also proposed to be set up in Bihar. <laughs> <laughs> income distribution In terms of income, the districts of Patna, Munger, and Bagusarai were the three best off out of a total of 38 districts in the state, recording the highest per capita gross district domestic product of 31,441 rupees, 10,087 rupees and 9,312 rupees, respectively, in 2004-05. Topic. Language and literature Hindi is the official language of the state. Urdu is the second official language in 15 districts of the state. Maithili, including its dialect Bajika, Bhojpuri, Angika and Magahi are also widely spoken in the state. Maithili is a recognized regional language of India under the 8th schedule to the Constitution of India. Proponents are calling for Bhojpuri and Magahi to receive the same status. Topic. Paintings There are several traditional styles of painting practiced in Bihar. One is Mathila painting, a style of Indian painting used in the Mathila region of Bihar. Traditionally, painting was one of the skills that was passed down from generation to generation in the families of the Mathila region, mainly by women. Painting was usually done on walls during festivals, religious events, and other milestones of the life cycle, like birth, upanayanam, the sacred thread ceremony, and marriage. Mathila painting was traditionally done on huts freshly plastered mud walls, but today it is also done on cloth, handmade paper, and canvas. Famous Mathila painters have included SMT Bharti Dayal, Mahasundari Devi, the late Ganga Devi, and Sita Devi. Mathila painting is also called Madhubani art. It mostly depicts human beings and their association with nature. Common scenes illustrate deities like Krishna, Ram, Shiva, Durga, Lakshmi, and Saraswati from ancient epics. Natural objects like the sun, moon, and religious plants like Tulsi are also widely painted, along with scenes from the royal court and social events like weddings. Generally no space is left empty. Historically, the Patna school of painting, Patna Salam, sometimes called company painting, flourished in Bihar during the early 18th to mid 20th centuries. The Patna school of painting was an offshoot of the well-known Mughal miniature school of painting. Those who practiced this art form were descendants of Hindu artisans of Mughal painting. Facing persecution from the Mughal emperor, Aurangzeb, these artisans found refuge, via Murshidabad, in Patna during the late 18th century. Their art shared the characteristics of the Mughal painters, but whereas the Mughal style depicted only royalty and court scenes, the Patna artists also started painting bizarre scenes. They used watercolors on paper and on mica. The style's subject matter evolved to include scenes of Indian daily life, local rulers, festivals, and ceremonies. 
This school of painting formed the basis for the formation of the Patna Art School under the leadership of Sri Radha Mohan. The school is an important center of fine arts in Bihar. Topic: <laughs> Performing Arts. Bihar has produced musicians like Bharat Ratna Ostad Bismillah Khan and Drupad singers like the Maliks and the Mishras along with poets like Vidyapati Thakur who contributed to Maithili music. The classical music in Bihar is a form of the Hindustani classical music. Gaya is another center of excellence in classical music, particularly of the Tapa and Thumri varieties. Pandit Gavardhan Mishra, son of the Ram Prasad Mishra, himself an accomplished singer, is perhaps the finest living exponent of tapa singing in India today, according to Padma Shri Gajendra Narayan Singh, founding secretary of the Sangeet Natak Academy of Bihar. Gajendra Narayan Singh also writes, in his memoir, that Champanagar, Benaili, was another major centre of classical music. Rajkumar Shyamanan Sinha of Champanagar, Benaili princely state, was a great patron of music and was himself one of the finest exponents of classical vocal music in Bihar in his time. Singh, in another book on Indian classical music, has written that, Kumar Shyamanan Singh of Benaili estate had such expertise in singing that many great singers including Kesarbhai Kirkar acknowledged his ability. After listening to bandishes from Kumar Sahib, Pandit Jasraj was moved to tears and lamented that, alas, he did not have such ability himself. Free translation of Hindi text. During the 19th century, when the condition of Bihar worsened under the British misrule, many Biharis had to emigrate as indentured labourers to the West Indies, Fiji, and Mauritius. During this time, many sad plays and songs called Burha became popular, in the Bhojpur region, thus, Bhojpuri Burha. Dramas incorporating this theme continue to be popular in the theatres of Patna. Topic Cinema Bihar has a robust Bhojpuri language film industry. There is also a smaller production of Magadhi, Maithili, as well as Angika language films. The first film with Bhojpuri dialogue was Ganga Jamuna, released in 1961. Bayat, the first Magadhi film, was released in 1961. The first Maithili movie was Kanyadan, released in 1965. Maithili film Mathila Makan won the National Film Award for Best Maithili Film in 2016. The history of films entirely in Bhojpuri begins in 1962 with the well-received film Ganga Maya Toha Piari Chadhaibo Mother Ganges, I Will Offer You a Yellow Sari, which was directed by Kundan Kumar. 1963's Laji Naheen Shoot Ram was the all-time hit Bhojpuri film, and had higher attendance than Mughal e Azam in the eastern and northern regions of India. Bollywood's Nadia K. Par is another of the most famous Bhojpuri language movies. However, in the following years, films were produced only in fits and starts. Films such as Bhaitasiya Foreigner, 1963, directed by S. N. Tripathi and Ganga Ganges, 1965, directed by Kundan Kumar were profitable and popular, but in general Bhojpuri films were not commonly produced in the 1960s and 1970s. In the 1980s, enough Bhojpuri films were produced to tentatively support a dedicated industry. Films such as My Mom, 1989, directed by Rajkumar Sharma and Hamar Bauji My Brother's Wife, 1983, directed by Kalpaduru continued to have at least sporadic success at the box office. However, this trend faded out by the end of the decade, and by 1990, the nascent industry seemed to be completely finished. The Bhojpuri film industry took off again in 2001 with the super hit Sayyan Hamar, My Sweetheart, directed by Mohan Prasad, which vaulted the hero of that film, Ravi Kashan, to superstardom. This success was quickly followed by several other remarkably successful films, including Pandit G. Bhattai Na Baya Kab Hoy Priest, Tell Me When I Will Marry, 2005, directed by Mohan Prasad and Sisora Bada Paisa Wala My Father-in-Law, The Rich Guy, 2005. In a measure of the Bhojpuri film industry's rise, both of these did much better business in the states of Uttar Pradesh and Bihar than mainstream Bollywood hits at the time, and both films, made on extremely tight budgets, earned back more than ten times their production costs. Sisora Bada Paisa Wala also introduced Manoj Tiwari, formerly a well-loved folk singer, to the wider audiences of Bhojpuri cinema. 
The success of Ravi Kashan and Manoj Tiwari's films has led to a dramatic increase in Bhojpuri cinema's visibility, and the industry now supports an awards show and a trade magazine, Bhojpuri City, which chronicles the production and release of what are now over 100 films per year. Religion Hindu goddess Sita, the consort of Lord Rama is believed to be born in Sitamari district in the Mathila region of modern-day Bihar. Gautama Buddha attained enlightenment at Bodh Gaya, a town located in the modern-day district of Gaya in Bihar. Vasapajya, the 12th Jain Tirthankara was born in Champapuri, Bagalpur. Vardhamana Mahavira, the 24th and the last Tirthankara of Jainism, was born in Vishali around the 6th century BC. Media Biharbandu was the first Hindi newspaper published in Bihar. It was started in 1872 by Maidan Mohan Bhatta, a Marathi Brahmin who settled in Bihar Sharif. Hindi journalism in Bihar, and specially Patna, could make little headway initially. Many Hindi journals were born and, after a lapse of time, vanished. Many journals were shelved even in the planning stages. But once Hindi had the support of being an official language, it started making inroads, even into the remote areas of Bihar. Hindi journalism acquired wisdom and maturity, and its longevity was assured. Hindi was introduced in the law courts in Bihar in 1880. Urdu journalism and poetry has a glorious past in Bihar. Many poets belong to Bihar, such as Shad Azimabadi, Kaif Azimabadi, and Kalim Ajiz. Shanaraman, a world famous radio announcer, is from Bihar. Many Urdu dailies such as Komi Tanzim and Sahara are published in Bihar. There is a monthly Urdu magazine called Voice of Bihar, which is the first of its kind and is becoming popular among the Urdu speaking people. The beginning of the 20th century was marked by a number of notable new publications. A monthly magazine named Bharat Ratna was started in Patna, in 1901. It was followed by Kasatriya Hiteshi, Aryavarta from Dinapur, Udiyoga, and Chaitanya Chandrika. Udayag was edited by Vijyanan Tripathi, a famous poet of the time, and Chaitanya Chandrika by Krishna Chaitanya Goswami, a literary figure of that time. The literary activity was not confined to Patna alone but to other districts of Bihar, Hindustan, Dainik Jagran, Rajasthan Patrika, Aj, and Prabhat Kabar are some of the Hindi newspapers of Bihar. National English dailies like the Times of India, Hindustan Times, Nabarat Times, The Telegraph, and The Economic Times have readers in the urban regions. Transport Airways <transport> 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 Bihar has three operational airports, Lok Nayak Jayaprakash Airport, Patna, Gaya Airport, and Purnia Airport. The Patna Airport is categorized as a restricted international airport, with customs facilities to receive international chartered flights. Gaya Airport is a full-fledged operational airport handling domestic as well as international flights from Buddhist countries. An airport at Muzaffarpur is under construction. Darbanga Airport is scheduled to start operation in under Udan 2 scheme. Inland waterways The Ganges, navigable throughout the year, was the principal river highway across the vast North Indo-Gangetic plain. Vessels capable of accommodating 500 merchants were known to ply this river in the ancient period. It served as a conduit for overseas trade, as goods were carried from Pataliputra later Patna and Champa later Bagalpur out to the seas and to ports in Sri Lanka and Southeast Asia. The role of the Ganges as a channel for trade was enhanced by its natural links, it embraces all the major rivers and streams in both North and South Bihar. Topic tourism The culture and heritage of Bihar can be observed from the large number of ancient monuments spread throughout the state. Bihar is visited by many tourists from around the world, with about 24 million, 24 million tourists visiting the state each year. In earlier days, tourism in the region was purely based on educational tourism, as Bihar was home of some prominent ancient universities like Nalanda and Vikramashila.
Topic: Education. Historically, Bihar has been a major center of learning, home to the ancient universities of Nalanda established in 450 CE, Odantapura established in 550 CE, and Vikramashila established in 783 CE. This tradition of learning may have been stultified during the period of Turkic invasions, c. 1000 CE, at which point it is believed major education centers, maintained by reclusive communities of Buddhist monks removed from the local populace, were suppressed by the Turkic raids originating from Central Asia. Bihar saw a revival of its education system during the later part of the British rule, when Patna University, the seventh oldest university of the Indian subcontinent, was established in 1917. Some other centers of high learning established under British rule are Patna College established 1839, Bihar School of Engineering 1900, now known as National Institute of Technology, Patna, Prince of Wales Medical College 1925, now Patna Medical College and Hospital, Science College, Patna 1928, and Patna Women's College, among others. A recent survey by Pratham rated the receptivity of Bihari children to their teaching as being better than those in other states. Bihar is striving to increase female literacy, now at 53.3%, as the government establishes educational institutions. At the time of independence, women's literacy in Bihar was 4.22%. Bihar has a National Institute of Technology and an Indian Institute of Technology in Patna. The National Employability Report of Engineering Graduates, 2014 puts graduates from Bihar in the top 25% of the country, and rating Bihar as one of the three top states at producing engineering graduates in terms of quality and employability. As of December 2013, there are seven government engineering colleges in the public sector, and 12 engineering colleges in the private sector, in Bihar, besides government aided BIT Patna and Women's Institute of Technology, Darbanga. The overall annual intake of students of these technical institutes in Bihar is only 6,200. In Bihar, government colleges are located at Muzaffarpur, Bagalpur, Gaya, Darbanga, Motahari, Nalanda, and Saran. Chopra. All institutes are recognized by All India Council for Technical Education, affiliated with Aryabhata Knowledge University. Aku. As it is, the foundation stone of the 8th Engineering College of the State Government, Ramdari Singh Dinkar Engineering College, was laid on of December 2013 at Bagusarai, while the process of creating the infrastructure for two new engineering colleges, one each at Madhepura and Sitamari, has started. NIT Patna is the second oldest engineering college of India. Its origin can be traced to 1886, with the establishment of a survey training school, subsequently renamed Bihar College of Engineering in 1932. In 2004, the Government of India upgraded the college to National Institute of Technology NIT status. In 2007, NIT Patna was granted Institute of National Importance status, in accordance with the National Institutes of Technology Act, 2007. Bihar established several new educational institutes between 2006 and 2008. BIT Misra started its Patna Extension Centre in September 2006. On 8 August 2008, Indian Institutes of Technology Patna was inaugurated with students from all over India in 2008. NSIT opened its new college in Bitta, which is now emerging as an education hub. BCE, Bagalpur, MIT, Muzaffarpur, and the National Institute of Pharmaceutical Education and Research, Hajipur Nippur, are in Bihar. On 4 August 2008, National Institute of Fashion Technology Patna was established as the ninth such institute in India. Chanakya National Law University and Chandragupta Institute of Management were established in the later half of 2008. Steps are being taken to revive the ancient Nalanda Mahavihara as Nalanda International University. Countries such as Japan, Korea, and China have also taken initiatives. The Aryabhat Knowledge University in Patna is a center with which all the engineering and medical colleges in Bihar are affiliated. The A.N. Sinha Institute of Social Studies is a premier research institute in the state. Bihar e-Governance Services and Technologies Best and the Government of Bihar have initiated a unique program to establish a center of excellence called Bihar Knowledge Center, a finishing school to equip students with the latest skills and customized short-term training programs at an affordable cost. 
The center aims to attract the youth of the state to improve their technical, professional, and soft skills. To meet the current requirements of the industrial job market, Bihar has the Central Institute of Plastic Engineering and Technology and the Institute of Hotel Management a central government unit in Hajipur. The Central University of Bihar is one of the 16 central universities newly established by the Government of India under the Central Universities Act, 2009, Section 25 of 2009. The university is temporarily located on the premises of the Birla Institute of Technology, Patna. The university is likely to be relocated to Panchanpur, approximately 10 kilometers (6.2 miles) from Gaya, on 300 acres (120 hectares) of land to be transferred soon from the military. On the 28th of February 2014, Lok Sabha Speaker Mira Kumar laid the foundation stone. Mahatma Gandhi Central University, also established under the Central Universities Act, and Amendment Act of 2014, is situated in Motahari, the district headquarters of East Champaran District. The All India Institute of Medical Sciences, Patna was established in 2012. It is affiliated with AIIMS, New Delhi. Nalanda University was re-established in 2014. The Indian Institute of Management BODH Gaya was established in 2015. See also Chisholm, Hugh, ed. 1911. Behar. Encyclopædia Britannica 11th ed. Cambridge University Press. Bihar Portal Outline of Bihar Timeline of Bihar Bihari culture Cuisine of Bihar Bihari languages Bihari people List of people from Bihar Outline of India Bibliography of India Index of India-related articles India – Wikipedia book Bihar Diwas Bihar Startup Policy